I'm Ashlyn. And I'm Zach. And I'm Andy. And we're traveling A to Z. This week we're at Kootenai National Park in British Columbia, Canada. We're heading on the 93 to go to Radium Hot Springs, which is in the Kootenai Forest area. And we're gonna stop along a couple uh, hikes along the way. Our first stop is to Vista Lake Overlook. So this is Vista Lake. You can hike all the way down it. I don't think we're going to because you have really good views from the parking lot. Our second stop is to the Continental Divide. So we're right here at the Continental Divide. On the, We're entering the Kootenai uh, Forest. We're gonna go down here all the way to Radium Hot Springs to go hot springing. Go hot springing? Go swimming in the hot springs. Hot springing. Hot springing. We made it to the Continental Divide of the Rocky Mountains. This way is the, all the water goes to the Atlantic. And this way, all the water goes to the Pacific. In Kootenai National Forest, that's where uh, the Pacific water is all draining, all the rivers. Everything from the Atlantic is actually uh, going from the Hudson, which is the second biggest bay in the world. Our next stop is to go hike and see Marble Canyon. British Columbia! Marble Canyon, we start here, go all the way, loop around, come back. Hiking the Marble Canyon, it's supposed to have canyon walls from 500 million years ago. And it's supposed to have limestone and dominite rock, I think that's what it's called. Fun. It has lots of little bridges that overlook the canyon. The canyon was formed by a whole bunch of water going through and basically pebbles and sand brushing against the limestone making it smooth. That is far down. You can see it eroding for sure there. stop is to Numa Falls. We're now at Numa Falls, so we're going to go check that out. This is right off the road, literally flat road, flat walk, and you have this cute little waterfall, Numa Falls. Our fifth stop is to Radium Hot Springs. We are heading to Radium Hot Springs. This is in the Kootenai Wilderness area in uh, British Columbia. Park on the opposite side of the road and then you take a tunnel underneath the highway to get to the hot springs. So it looks like they have a cold pool and a hot pool. So two different pools. There's three different hot springs in this area that people go to. The main one is Banff, and then they have this one. Okay. 
The cool pool is still warm, 84 degrees. You have to take a shower before you go in. They have a nice little changing area. You can rent towels for $2. It's about $8 to get in for a dollar. It's 102 degrees in this hot water from the hot pool, the springs, but they filter it into a pool. Now we're gonna cool down on the cool pool, which is 84 degrees, and they have a slide for the kids. It's cute. It's not that cold. Wimp. It feels really good. It was hot over there. We just finished going to the hot springs. It was very fun. So it's less busy than the Banff hot springs, and the Banff hot springs, like, it's kind of first come, first serve, and it fills up really fast. So this is another option, which is about an hour and a half from Banff, but a gorgeous view and the Kootenai National Forest to get here. So if you have time, I recommend uh, stopping by this hot springs because it was a lot of fun and relaxing. I hope you enjoyed some of the top spots to stop at when in Kootenai National Park. Join us as we take you on one of the most beautiful drives in North America along the Icefields Parkway. We'll show you some of the top spots to see as we drive. Please subscribe below to follow more of our adventures.